Hey, hey, hey there, Whippa Snappers! It's Tortimer the Grey. Welcome you back to another exciting episode of Pixelmon on the Decimon server. Uh, today, we are going to be doing some more Pokemon y stuff, and um, I forgot to turn off that stupid mod. Gosh darn it. Well, <laughs> the mod's going to be on again because I forgot to turn it off. Um, but we're going to be doing some more Pokemon y stuff. Last time we got our weapons, um, and we're going to do a little bit of grinding here to get the last couple levels we need. Uh, to name our sword, but we did name the so the bow, ended up going with uh, the whippersnapper, so that'll be cool. And uh, we've got a little bit of, of grinding to do today yet to get, we need to get up to level 27 before we can uh, name the sword. So, um, yeah, we, we will do that because we want to do some grinding today anyway, but, um, in fact, let's jump into the gym very quickly. Um, we have got... Um, We've got all of our gym team members fully ground up to level 70. Um, again, same as last time. We haven't really made much change to the moves as we looked at them last time. So there's several people who still need some TMs and such to be uh, right where we want them. But uh, for now, everybody is... Uh, level 7... Oh, I, I was wondering... I'm sorry, I was wondering why there was an empty space here. I'm like, did I lose somebody? What's happening? Um... But this top row is people who are fully done. Um, they're EV trained, leveled, they have their proper items, and they've got all the moves. So these these five guys all have their moves, and then these five we're still waiting on a little bit. Um, Nido King, we still need to find an Ice Beam TM for him. Um, Thwomp... I think I had, like, Stone Edge on here. Um, and then we... I think the I'm pretty sure the Waterfall HM is in this game. I haven't found anybody who has one yet, um, but I'm pretty sure that the HMs are in the game now. So I would love to get Waterfall for him. Um, just need an Ice Beam for this guy. We still need Toxic and Roost for Fidget. Um, I forget exactly what I said. Because the, the move sets that, um, that Smogon gives are like all punch moves. Because he's supposed to have, um, supposed to have the Iron Fist ability, um, but not all the abilities are coded in here yet, and I can't get the all the punch moves anyway. So I've got to figure out exactly what I want to do with uh, with Colossus's uh, move set there. But he's still in progress. And then we've got Ganon, um, who's kind of there. Ice Fang and Earthquake are staying, and then. I was thinking Return and Stone Edge or something, but I, for now he's good enough. Thrash is actually pretty good. I probably will keep Thrash, so I really just need to get something else for here because Ancient Power is pretty terrible. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the gym team is just about done. We will be taking challengers and stuff. I mean, I'm not going to wait to continue doing that. I mean, we already we already took on Skull a couple episodes ago, um, and uh, so we will we will continue to take challengers. Um, but yeah, so this is done, and so today. Um, what we're going to be doing is um, picking up where we left off. And actually, I've got Rayquaza on me, but I don't really want Rayquaza on me. Let me, uh, I really, I really should bring him, but I want a flyer. Let's, or somebody that could potentially be a flyer. Um, I had been raising this uh, Starly, and so I think, yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring the Starly with us. He's, uh, level 33, yeah, that should be good enough for anything we'll probably come across. Um, and then, do I have any lucky, I do have a lucky egg. I'll probably need to get those off of, um, off of Skull at some point, but that's okay. Um, so, uh, that's the team, and today we are going to be starting work on our offensive team. So we've got most of our guys with us. Uh, as you can see there, uh, Turtwig, our shiny Magikarp, Zubat, and Eevee. And I've been doing a little bit of work with um, Zubat and Eevee. No leveling, but I've been running around with them uh, with Soothe Bells on. So um, Zubat's up to 169 happiness, and Eevee's a little bit lower, 117. Because um, for whatever reason, Zubat started with a happiness level of 70. Um, so yeah, just been doing that in preparation because both Zubat and Eevee need happiness to evolve. Um, it, well, uh, Zubat, Zubat doesn't, but Golbat will, so, uh, in order to get Crobat, we're gonna need, uh, to up that happiness there, so, um, what we're gonna do today is, as you see, I've got a couple of EV training items on Turtwig and Magikarp, I'm not gonna be quite as picky as I was with, like, the gym team, um, 
like nitpicking over every little point. Um, but for the most part, both of these are going to be attack and speed. Um, usually, or most of them, they've got like, well, 80 points in HP or something. Um, so we may we may mess around with that a little bit once we... But for now, I'm just going to kind of go all out on attack and speed, and then we can top it off with whatever. Um, hey, Meg. We may... Um, I'm, I'm not sure what, what that was. Um, Meg's got a portal out to her base now, so... She'll probably be out there working on her tower. Once we get our sword named, we may have to sneak out there, and uh, <laughs> she she'll hate us so much. But we got to, well, we should sneak out there at some point if she sticks around, and uh, maybe test out our uh, kill messages. But um, what we want to do in the meantime is um, I'd like to do some uh, training on these guys. Let's see, I've got Magic Carp, um, and so. Magikarp gets speed EVs, or Magikarps give speed EVs, and so we're gonna EV train our shiny. Ma Look how pretty he is. EV train our shiny Magikarp on um, on these Magikarps. So I'm gonna use Turtwig to do that, just to kind of kill two birds with one stone, because he's gonna be wanting these speed EVs as well. And I'm really, I'm not gonna be keeping a whole lot of track of it. I'm just gonna be doing a lot of their early grinding on on these guys, because I really. It was fun to do for the gym guys, and I'm glad I did it, but I don't think it's going to be necessary for my offensive team to have that kind of level of, uh, you know, just technicality to them. Nobody else on the server is really doing that, and um, I, I made 44 arrows um, as well. Um, but, yeah, so I, I, I just don't think it's going to be necessary. Uh, so I'm just going to have more fun just kind of grinding with them. Um, I need to close this. That always bothers me. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to just kind of hang out. Let's see, we're at level 24. Um, we've got to get some more stuff going here. we got to get some more... Let's get, let's get Turtwig up front. We'll take on this Ekans, get some attack EVs going. There we go. Um, and we'll actually switch to our AV in here, get a little bit of that going. So we can eventually get straight... Oh, wow, this music is loud. Whoo, doggy! I apologize for that. Let me let me check the levels here. It's not too bad. Turned down to like ten percent. If I need to, I can always mess with the uh, levels in editing. Um, but yeah, ooh, here's Nidoran. I believe that's another attack, attack EV. So let's do that. Um, oh, we're get, we got decent. We're getting decent like Minecraft experience off of this. So that's not too bad. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do a Staravia again. There we go, get the Aerial Ace going. Beautiful, Turtle went up a level. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm in a pretty good place for... And that's part of the reason why I'm going for speed and attack, because I'm in a good place to do those two. Um, usually my rivers are overflowing with Magikarps, and, uh, and then at the same time, this Savannah is always got, um, uh attack EV Pokemon in it. Uh, Growlithe, it's swarming with Growlithe at night. Um, and uh, Ekansons and Nidorans and things like that. So um, it works out pretty well. There we go. We went up a level. Um, so let's... Uh, I think there was... I, I feel like I saw some more magic cards in here. Yeah. Now, shouldn't Magikarp have gone up a level... Maybe, maybe it did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was level 8. But yeah, so this, this Turtwig is... Um, if you guys will remember, this is an adamant Turtwig that we found. Um, and uh, so he's perfect for a, an attacking powerhouse. Um, so we're... It does not appear that this Magikarp is gaining experience. I need to... Let's actually pay attention to that this time. Because it may just be a visual glitch, but... I may have to double check and make sure I haven't locked leveling on him or something. That would be stupid. No, Magikarp's getting experience. Turtle learned Razor Leaf. Nice. Alrighty. Very cool. Uh, here we go. Level 16 guy. That'll be useful. Come on, Turtle. Um, but yeah, so this guy will be great. Um, and then Magikarp is not uh, perfect in nature, um, but it's a shiny, and it actually, it has an attack-raising nature, so it's, uh, stats. 
It's got lower defense, but raised attack, so I think that'll be good. Um, better than nothing. I mean, it's a shiny, and it's got a reasonably decent nature, so we'll go with it. I'm not too... Again, I'm not going to be super picky with the, this. Um, we've got a Jolly Zubat here, um, which will be good. Nice and speedy, which will be just how I like it. And then we do actually have a good-natured Eevee for our Umbreon there. Um, and then our, our Mareep in, in the box is also a good nature. So, um, actually, most of, most of our team ended up being pretty good, and I didn't have to put a lot of work into it, which is even better. Because you guys, I mean, I cut out a lot of it, but man, I spent... Well, you guys saw the boxes full of Pokemon and stuff. Like, I spent way too long catching <laughs> catching Pokemon, trying to, to get ideal natures and things like that. It was... Uh, it got bad. It just like, I mean, hours spent... Oop, nope, we're not doing that. Oh, there we go. Now he's showing some experience. Perfect. Um, yeah, it got it got bad. So I got lucky that I kind of caught these guys. Um, just This is the only Zubat I caught. Um, I just kind of threw a Pokeball. I found one. Kind of had gotten trapped in a tree so it wasn't fl swimming all around and everything. Um, and just kind of threw a Pokeball at it because it was nice and big. I was like, sure, why not? I'm... I'm going to go for Zubats eventually, so I was like, I'll, I'll catch one. I think it was when I was in the swamp trying to get Gligers and stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, he ended up being a decent nature. And it's was like, all right, well, great. Um, and uh, that Eevee I just kind of randomly had caught. I didn't think I got a good nature DB, and then I... And then it turns out I did. So, uh, no, it's worked out pretty well. I'm uh, pretty excited about getting this team going, finally. I wanted to bring them in with you guys... Um, at the very start here, I didn't want to... What level? Ooh, 46. We can't really handle that with our team currently. Um, I didn't really want to... I apologize for that, guys. Uh, I got a phone call there in the middle from my dad, and I had to answer it. So, uh, we'll be picking back up here, and I do not recall uh, if slash what I was talking about, but uh, we will uh, continue on with our grinding here. Um, and uh, I think... <clears throat> if all goes well, um, I'm planning on getting a couple of evolutions in here today. Uh, let's see, Metacarp's still only level 10. We're going to move on this sucker. Um, planning on getting a couple of evolutions in here today so you guys can experience that with us as well. Uh, with me, rather. With us. All of us as a community together forever. Um, but yeah, yeah. So um, let's, uh, let's continue on here. i got to check my Minecraft levels, too. As soon as we've got enough levels... I'm gonna. Well, hopefully Meg's still on. I need to. Need to check that. Let's let's quickly kill Magikarp here. Oh wow, this thing's really uh, hanging in there, huh? There we go. Okay, we're one level away from being able to rename our sword. Beautiful, and Meg is still on. Oh, she's gonna be so mad. It's gonna be hilarious. Um, <laughs> alrighty. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You gotta find something. Shinx gives attack. Alright, and let's get Turtwig out here. <clears throat> this relief probably isn't gonna do a lot. Oh, no, it kills it. Perfect. Perfect! Heading off for a bit. Ah. <sighs> Well, hopefully somebody else gets on and we'll, uh, we'll kill them. <laughs> I don't know where Taz would be working. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't hung out with Taz enough to really just feel comfortable going and killing him. Um, but Meg totally would deserve it. So <laughs> maybe Jay or Max or somebody will get on at some point and, uh, or Skull or Kays or, I don't know. Somebody that I, uh, I know where they'll be and I would feel comfortable just kind of murdering them a little bit. Uh, let's, uh, let's attack these guys. Uh, HP is the other one that we might go for on these guys, so we might as well... Uh, well, we've got some Kangaskhans just kind of hanging out here. Um, <clears throat> and this one's actually a little bit of a lower level, so we should be able to... Let's get Starly in here. Oh, yeah. Starly took that like a champ. Um, or Staravia, rather. Uh, let's get this Kangaskhan dead. This will be some good experience for Magikarp here. Magikarp grew to level 14. Beautiful. What kind of level are you at, buddy? Ooh, way too high. Way too high level. All right. Uh, Kanga. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> but 
But yeah, thank you guys for the name suggestions last episode on the tools. Uh, you guys gave me a bunch of good nicknames. Um, mostly related to the sword, it looked like. Not a lot of suggestions on the bow. Um, so I'm assuming you guys just kind of liked the bow. Ah, we need one more level for, for this. Um, Turtwick can handle it. Because this thing doesn't have any attacking moves yet. So yeah, so we'll use Absorb to get our health back. And that'll help us continue on with our grinding, because he was getting a little low there. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I always appreciate it when you guys give me feedback, um, whatever it's on. Uh, you give me, uh, Pokemon nicknames or, you know, names for weapons, you know, feedback on a, on a build or whatever. I, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, this is a lot more fun if, uh, if you guys participate. So, uh, I think for everybody, I think it, I think you guys get more enjoyment out of it when you're participating. And, um, I know for me, um... I choose to do YouTube. Um, a lot of my friends do streaming and stuff, which is a lot less work. Uh, but my hours are a little weird for when I actually get to play these games, so I don't know that you guys or really anybody would be around to like watch me as I was doing these games um, if I were streaming. Uh, and so I like to have, you know, if I was streaming, I'd probably still edit it and put it on YouTube so there was a record so that you guys could see it. So it would just kind of be doubling down. Um, and so I'm sticking with YouTube, and I may start doing some streaming, like maybe, um, you know, like one of my favorite games is the Mass Effect series. Um, and that's, but that's more of like a choice-based thing, um, so that would be something that would be way better with streaming, because people could in real time give me, uh, tell me what decisions to make and things like that. Um, as well as, um, I wouldn't do that one on my channel, not only because I don't think it would not only because it wouldn't be as good recorded, because, you know, you don't get that, that interaction, that the game really, it's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure kind of style game, so the interaction is kind of important. Um, <clears throat> but also, that game is a little more mature than, um, I try to keep mine pretty family-friendly, and the game's not, like, real bad, um, but it, it is a teen or a mature rating or something like that, and I mainly play Pokemon on my channel, so... <laughs> Not a whole lot of teen mature stuff going on here. It's a pretty family-friendly channel. Um, and uh, there's some swearing and uh, violence and mild suggestive stuff in there. And it's a, you know, I'm an older guy. I, you know, I, I enjoy the game. But it's it's not something that I would necessarily do on my channel. So I may do some streaming for that kind of stuff because I'd, I'd like to play through some of those games again. But I don't really have time to play just for fun. So if I can interact with people and hang out, then that would be great. But uh, other than that, I probably won't get a chance to do it. Um... But yeah, so I, um, I appreciate it when you guys do, um, you know, interact with me while while on uh, YouTube here because um, it does take a lot of extra work to do videos as opposed to just streaming. And um, and it also, t I mean, if I don't get any interaction, and you guys have been good, but like, you know, just as an example, if you don't get any interaction, you might as well just be playing the video game by yourself. Like, I can sit in my office and play video games all, all day by myself and um, get just as much enjoyment, well, probably get more enjoyment of, out of it at that point than I do from uh, recording because then I've got to record and, and edit and render and upload and make a thumbnail and copy over the description and uh, took a while planning beforehand and, and things like that. So... Um, you know, it's a lot of work that goes into doing YouTube, um, and it's a lot of fun, and it's totally worth it. Um, for me, it gives me a nice creative outlet. Um, I don't really get to do... I'm a creative person. My degree is in creative things, um, but unfortunately, with the economy, I've kind of just taken a job that's not real creative. Uh, it's a good job. I am... I'm, I'm, God bless, you know, me very well with this job, but, um... It, it's <clears throat> it's not really a creative outlet for me, uh, which is kind of what I was hoping to do. So um, YouTube kind of gives me that. It lets me do my thumbnails, my channel art, things like that. It lets me give that graphic design outlet, but uh, um, also while well, making some friends and making some fun videos, hopefully for you guys and things like that. So um, yeah, it, it's all around a win-win. And so I appreciate you guys uh, continuing to be... Um, uh, truly appreciate you guys continuing to be uh, uh, interactive with me um, on all of my series, and I, I appreciate you guys checking out all of my different series because I, I'm not, I don't really spread myself, you know, out too much. Like everything's pretty well related. I mean, like, <clears throat> especially with like, if you're a fan of Pixelmon, well, you know, I've got a, I've got Pokemon stuff, so the Pokemon part of this you guys could enjoy, and as well as uh, 
you know, I have a Minecraft series, and so maybe you guys will enjoy that too. Um, but I know that most people on my channel are here for Pokemon stuff, so, you know, I get that. Um, I think my, <clears throat> my SMP Farside stuff's probably the most out there for people. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys checking out other things, though. We've got a lot of fun stuff. I don't really like, I'm not really, like, stretching the boundaries of what we do here with my, most of my stuff. Okay, Magikarp got Tackle. Awesome. Um, let's quickly, we do have 27 levels now. Let's quickly name this thing. Um, so we've got the Whippersnapper. So it would say, um, Meg was killed by, well, I think it was, it would say, was shot by Tortimer the Grey with the Whippersnapper. Or using the Whippersnapper or something like that. Which, you know, I think will be a lot of fun to see show up there and I think it'll make people laugh. Especially if Jay is on at some point. He loves the whole Whippersnapper deal. Every time I get on, he's like, hey, hey, Whippersnappers! And he's just, I, he gets a kick out of that. Um, so I think Jay would really enjoy that. And then, um, I think we're going to nickname this, um, we've got a couple of good suggestions. One of, um... One of the suggestions was um, was actually from Jay, and he said, uh, you said to use, uh, call it his cane, um, but in reality, I don't use a cane, um, I use a walking stick, uh, or a staff or something. So, um, we're going to nickname this thing along the same vein, but we're going to nickname this um, his walking stick. All right, so now it'll say, uh, you know, Jay was slain by Torium of the Grey using his walking stick or whatever. Um, so I think that's going to be pretty epic. And if somebody else gets on here, um, in fact, let me, uh, let's cut. We've got our things named, um, and I will do some more grinding. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Lava Falls. Um, I will do some grinding. And um, I'll bring you guys back when we've got any evolutions coming or anything like that. Well, in fact, we're so close on on Turtwig here, aren't we? Uh, let's quickly get Turtwig evolved, um, and then we'll do a quick cut and um, and come back when um, when we're a little bit closer uh, to maybe like Magikarp evolving or something, um, and and maybe somebody will get on at that point. Uh, there we go. Um, and we can, because I'd like to get us uh, a kill here today. I just think it would be funny. Uh, that really all Razor Leaf did? Seriously? We're the same level and it's super effective. Yikes. Oh, darn it. Okay, he evolves at level 18. Um, okay, so we're going to make a cut because it is further away than I thought it would be. And um, I will bring you guys back when we've got an evolution coming. And hopefully by that point, um, we will have somebody on who we can kill. Um, so yeah, I will be right back with you guys. See you in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, two seconds later, I took on a, a Doug Trio. And, um, and Turtwig went up two levels. So um, he is evolving into a Grottle. This guy is a Runt. So our other Turtwig is an enormous... Um, or like our, our Torterra uh, for our gym team is enormous. Uh, this guy is a runt. Um, ooh, Star Egg is evolving. Oh, well, that's kind of exciting. Um, apparently, we don't get to see Star Avia's evolution. Um, but uh, maybe. I'm not really sure what's happening. Is the server dying? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> Star Avia evolving to Staraptor. That's really exciting. Uh, ooh, and close combat, it did learn. Fantastic. Uh, let's get rid of quick attack, because I don't think that move actually works in this mod. Okay, well, let's take a quick look at these guys, and then I will cut again. Um, so, yeah, tiny little grottle. Uh, well, it'll be funny to show uh, this new Torterra up against our, um, our, our gym one, because it'll be huge. I mean, Runt is second to smallest, so it'll be second to smallest versus, you know, biggest, um, at least at this point in time. Uh, with the breeding update, again, we'll be we'll having a little bit bigger guy coming in. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, okay, so there's Grottle. Awesome. And then I gotta see this guy. Um, I've been wanting this guy for a while. Look at him. He is fancy. And we can fly on him, yes? Yes. Fantastic. Um, I love Cal, um, but I figured... 
Cal's up at level 60. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with... Um, oh, that's so... Look at him just, like, scanning around and stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love this guy. I've got a... I've got a... Star... Well, Staravia uh, in my Hexaplox series right now. We're running through Pokemon Pearl. Um, so that works out very nicely. Um, but yeah, this is the first Star Raptor I probably have had in a very long time in any kind of Pokemon game. So... Um, that is exciting. That is exciting. But I will cut. Um, <clears throat> I would like to get... Um, <clears throat> apologize. I would like to get Magikarp evolved at this point, too. Um, so I'm going to cut, uh, heal up a bit, hope and pray that somebody gets online so we can murder them, and then um, also try and squeeze a Magikarp evolution in here. Um, and then our gym or our offensive team will be coming on very nicely. Uh, pretty excited, <clears throat> pretty excited about what's coming up with these guys. Uh, they're all very cool Pokemon, some of my favorites, um, so it's cool to get to use them uh, and just kind of put together a team, not having to really worry about, you know, typings and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys back in just a second. Alrighty, guys, we are, <clears throat> Magikarp is at level 19, um, and so I think this will probably put us about at the edge uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna switch Grotto in, hoping he doesn't die. He does die. That's okay. Um, let's see. The guy's a little high level for him anyway. Let's see if Star Raptor can take care of it. Oh yeah, Star Raptor can handle this, no problem. Um, let's get a quick kill off there. Magikarp should go over, and boom. <clears throat> so our beautiful shiny Magikarp, which is I, I love the look of shiny Magikarp. Um, I almost wish that Gyarados was like more gold than red, but I think that Shiny Gyarados is pretty cool looking too. Um, oh man, look how big he's getting! That's insane! Oh man, what's, what size was this Magikarp? Gyarados Lung Bite. Holy crap, let's uh, let's see. Uh, oh, he's a huge... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's take a quick look at this guy. Boom! <laughs> that is awesome. It is awesome. All right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I use Gyarados a lot um, in Pixelmon. Um, he's a good Pokemon. Just early, early there, you can catch one and you know real easy and, and get him ground up and and then you get some good moves pretty quickly, pretty quickly. So um, a lot of the moves that we're going to be keeping on him, he's going to get, but just by level up, um, we're going to be teaching him Ice Fang and. Um, Ice Fang and Aqua Tail and Dragon Dance. Um, and then we're going to be trying to get... Uh, well, I've got to decide. <clears throat> Typically, I would want to put, like, Earthquake or something on him. Um, but I'm already going to have Torterra and Camerupt on the team, so I don't know that I'm going to need any more ground coverage. So we might hold off on that um, just uh, just for now um, while I, I figure out exactly what I'm what I'm wanting to do with this guy. Uh, let's see, um, let's bring Grottle in, there we go, um, let's go for Razor Leaf, Sand Tomb doesn't do a whole lot, nice, nice, oh, I missed, come on, Grottle, you got it, oh, that should have killed it, that should have killed it, good, we, we got it down to the thing with the one hit, Grottle's learning some good stuff, oh, and he didn't learn Curse, that's too bad, um, well, let's get rid of... Uh, we'll get rid of Withdrawal for now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Yep, so our team is coming along very nicely. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put... I, I gotta get rid of this, is just what I gotta do. And let's put these two blocks... Fill in this little crevice here. Um, but yeah, the team's coming along nicely. I did want to, you know, make sure I got them started with you guys. I didn't want to, like, show up and be like, oh, yeah, remember that Magikarp and that Turtwig we had? Well, now they're a Torterra and a Gyarados. Like, <clears throat> I think the, po you know, the point of this is for you guys to come be along for the ride. So I wanted to make sure you guys were here at least when we start. And I'll probably do a little bit of grinding off camera just because um, I don't know that this is always the kind of stuff you guys want to see. But um, for now, um, I am going to cut because we've kind of accomplished what I wanted to for today. Um, but we're not done. I'm going to cut... And then I'm going to get a clip of me killing a couple of people. And we'll throw that at the end here. Um, and, and that'll be awesome. But uh, for now, I think Pokemon-wise, I've accomplished what I wanted to. We've got our 
our g huge Gyarados and our runty little <laughs> Grottle. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, the team is coming along very nicely already, and we've got a lot of work to go still here. Um, but starting to get them EV trained a little bit, getting them evolved, uh, is a good first step. So, uh, pretty excited about uh, the progress so far. Um, we also got a Star Raptor out of the deal, so that's going nicely. Star Raptor is actually pretty good. Let me uh, let me look at this guy's stats. If he's if he's actually useful, well, he's got good speed. That's not terrible. We could potentially use this guy too at some point if we want. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna cut now. I will see you guys back in a little bit. I know you guys don't mind longer episodes, but um, I don't want to just keep hanging out and grinding when I could, you know, get you guys some some murder and mayhem here and then let you get, cut you loose to get back to your lives because you got more important things to do. I know it. Um, so I will see you guys again in a second. Be right back with some fun little clips for you. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Here we go. A couple of people just locked on. Meg and Chuck just joined in while I was uh, continuing to grind my uh, Gyarados and, and Grottle here. Um, so I, I'm not sure I know where Chuck's place is, but I definitely know where Meg's is. So we're going to kind of try and sneak over there, see if we can't find her. She'll probably be working on her tower. <clears throat> Oop. There we go. That's a little weird. Uh, she'll probably be working on her tower, so we should be able to, at the very least, uh, snipe her with the whippersnapper. Um, otherwise, we may be able to get uh, get at her with the with the sword. I guess we'll find out. Um, I have not. Well, the the last time I went to her place via portal, it brought me out in like the top chamber of her of her place, and there wasn't really a way to get down that I could see. So I guess we'll uh, we'll kind of just. Uh, Play it by ear. <laughs> oh, God, this bow is not working. Oh, she's typing or something. Oh no! This bow is not working. Oh. Ah. ah! I'm gonna use all my arrows on her. Oh, this is so bad! Alright, forget it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so there's where Katie was slain by a toy over the grave using his walking stick. Phew! Uh, him. That bow is glitchy. How many arrows do I have left? I, I used like 10. Alright, let's pick these up. Yikes. Alright, I gotta get, I gotta get somebody. Let's see, let's find out where Chuck is. Hey Chuck. What you doing? All right. Where at? So I, I did post in the, I did post in chat. Check the new skin, Mags. <clears throat> well, what is she doing? I got a new skin. She used to be like Goggle Lady. That's fun. I know she'd been spending a lot of time trying to remake an old skin that she'd had. It's looking good, Meg. Um, I, I ended up posting in chat, I need people to get on so I can kill you. So they, they know it's coming. But I wanted to test these out anyway. And eventually, we'll, uh, we'll be on with other people. The server's been a little bit quiet lately, but I think people have just got busy. Um, I'm not too worried about the life of the server or anything like that. I think people have just gotten busy. As of my, I haven't been on a whole lot just to play lately either, so, um, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, come weekend and stuff, uh, there'll be lots of people on and we'll be able to... See, Chuck's gonna make me work for it, though. Ah, it's too glitchy. Oh, you jerk. 
There we go, got him with one. Yes! Chuck was shot by Tormer Gray using the Whippersnapper. Woo! <laughs> uh, like fish in a barrel. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was fun. That was fun. So do we do we have them both here? So yeah. Mag was slain by Tormund the Grey using his walking stick. Awesome. And Chuck was shot by Tormund the Grey using the whippersnapper. I am pretty happy with that. Uh, it'll be even better when uh, we got a whole group of people on and I can actually get some legit kills. Um, oh. Using his manly... He got me with one shot, man. Man, your bow is better than mine. One shot. Shotted. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, I am going to head out. We've got about 37-ish minutes here now. So I'm going to hang out with these guys uh, if they stick around, I guess, and uh, do a little bit more grinding maybe. My wife is out of town, so I kind of just get to play video games at night now, which is exciting. No, it's not that exciting. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be good to get me a chance to grind, but I, I kind of miss her. She's going to be gone for like a week, so it's going to be really quiet around here. Just me and Fluffy hanging out in the house, and Fluffy's not real talkative. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to continue to try and uh, take these guys out while doing a little bit of grinding on the side, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.